1954 on a field in Oxford, England. Roger Bannister did the impossible. He ran a mile in less than four minutes. He ran it in 359. When I was in college, I was uh, 5'11", 165 pounds. At the end of last year, I was still right at the six foot mark and uh, considerably more. I actually lost a few pounds before I had the courage to get on a scale. And when I did get on a scale, it was 312. And that was on New Year's Day. But my goal uh, for 2018 is to lose 50 pounds, which would be 262. I, I just, I just was sick and tired of it. I felt horrible all the time. I'm, I sleep on my side at night, I'm a side sleeper. My hip would start to hurt. And I was kind of getting concerned about that. And I just thought, okay, well this is part of getting old. But since I started losing weight, all that has gone away. But my motivation was the fact that I just felt horrible all the time. I guess I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I, I have had um, give up thoughts and the previous couple of years I I would struggle I would always say I'm gonna lose weight right but I never really would define it and I would just say oh I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this belly but I never had a goal and I never had a plan never had anything defined I just wanted to lose the belly and so consequently I never would in fact it just kept getting bigger and uh, and my pants kept shrinking you know, it seemed like all my clothes were shrinking. But having friends, having the men's group, having set a goal and, and setting it out there and asking people to ask me about it, asking people to hold me accountable has, um, has really made all the difference. I don't weigh myself every day. I weigh myself every few days. I'm excited uh, getting on the scale tomorrow. Uh, I'm anticipating being probably uh, 266, 265. Uh, I'm, I'm reaching my goal and I'm excited about it. It's like right there, I can feel it. Now it's like, now I just wanna, I wanna add another 10 pounds to the goal, right? I wanna just keep going. Well, the plateau was really a difficult time. Um, we talked, did a video. For the next couple of weeks, I said I was taking a break and I, I took a break and I kind of reverted some old habits. I, I might have stopped and got ice cream a few times, just saying. The accountability meeting we had after that, I sat down with my partners. I was missing my goals. I was missing my exercise goals. I wasn't walking as much or as often as I said I was going to do. I wasn't losing the weight I said I was going to or wanted to lose. And they, they gave me some really good tips, one of which was to put a hash mark on the calendar every day that I meet my caloric goal. And that one, that one was very valuable. The other one was to put something on the calendar for training um, to kind of give me some motivation. Sign up for a 5K. And I said, oh, okay, that's a good goal. And I wrote it down and in the back of my mind and I, I told my part, accountability part of this uh, our most recent meeting to us. In the back of my mind, I said, I'm never going to do that. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to do a 5K. Well, the next thing I know, I find myself looking at the calendar and I'm signing up for the Med Center 5K on the 13th of October. And I'm thinking, well, I can do this. I walk four miles, you know, uh, quite frequently. There's no reason I can't walk 3.1. And then I got another email saying there was another event coming up on Labor Day, which at the time was just you know, three or four days away. So I signed up and did the two mile walk on that. So I've done one event and now I'm doing another and, and now I'm in training. And in my mind, I'm in training. And I wanna, I wanna exercise, I wanna work out. You know, even now I signed up for a couple events in early 2019 and, and, and I'm looking forward to them. I mean, that's never ever been on my radar ever before. I've never wanted to do anything like that. And now I'm looking, I was like, yeah, cause it feels so good when it's, when you've done it, you've accomplished it. What was it like when you stepped on the scale and realized you hit your goal for this year? It was disbelief. I, I looked at it and I thought, did, did I read that right? Is it really, did I really do it? And I couldn't believe it. And I think I stepped on the scale about four times that morning getting ready. 
And I kept looking down going, is this, is this really real? Did I really do this? And I, I didn't really believe it. So um, I waited a day to make sure it was true. And then when I got on the scale again that next day and it was still right there, I was like, okay, it's true. And that's when I was like, yeah, I hit my goal. But it was just like, whoa, it took a while for it to really set in, you know? It, it's a huge, it's a huge feeling, huge relief. In another way, it's like, why did I wait so long to do this? How did I get here, right? Why did I ever get to the point where I had to do this? I needed to do this. But yeah, I feel, and maybe I needed to do it to appreciate what I've got now. I think the next 50 will be harder. And the reason I say that is, is I've gotten down and I'm exercising um, and I feel good. I, my weight isn't, isn't dropping it's not just pouring off like I was thinking it would. But at the same time, I feel myself getting smaller. The foods I crave now are different than the foods I craved a year ago. A year ago, I wanted chocolate and cake and candy bars and M&Ms and Reese's peanut butter cups, well, anything with peanut butter in it, you know? And now I'm like, oh, an apple sounds good. Or, you know, fresh fruit, oh, that sounds great. Oh, a salad, you know? Help me make it through the holidays without just totally going backwards because I think I'm still fragile enough that I could go backwards if I wasn't careful and I don't want to do that I've worked too hard to get here I, I'm not going back I never want to go back I feel too good